All right, we're uh, going to solder the switch up at this point in time, and uh, we've taken the hot wire from the fuse, the, uh, the black wire, and placed it here. And we're going to take the white wire, which is the neutral side, and we're going to place it in here. We're going to add a little solder to that. With regards to the transformer wires, the red slash black and the yellow slash black are tied together. And they're going to go to this side of the switch. going to have some difficulty doing this if the wires are um, short from the transformer. If you can get them off the old tran off the old switch, that's nice. We're gonna have to have a little solder to that. It's not gonna go. It is not necessary that you get them through the holes. It is simply necessary that you tack sort of them on. You can also, since these are what they call fast on terminals, use the crimp terminals that are sometimes used with the, as push on terminals. And you can do it that way too if you like. And the other side of the transformer has a yellow wire, a green slash black wire, <clears throat> and a black wire itself. That one is going to be soldered on this side of the switch. Try to keep your heat in the switch uh, to a minimum if you can. Uh, the reason is it's still made out of plastic and as you know plastic will eventually melt. Now this completes the uh, the wiring of the switch. It's slightly different from the original switch and if you refer to this video you'll see that all we've done is combine the wire from the um, from the center post to the other end and these two were joined by a jumper on the original switch which we can see here. All right, and this particular switch um, is, like I said, difficult to come by. We are able to get um, the switch that fits, and it's within the ratings, and it should last a long time. It's got a brighter neon bulb in it, and what we're going to do is just test everything. We're going to provide power for the unit, and then we're going to turn the unit on, and it obviously passed the smoke test. It's a nice bright light, should last 100,000 hours, and um, this way here you'll be able to see when it's on, and the switch is uh, in keeping with the decor of the roads. That concludes this uh, particular repair tip with regards to changing the switch in your 5-pin roads.